Okay, so now we're gonna go over how to trim your model um, or your bleaching tray. So what you wanna do is you're gonna cut in here. You're gonna cut all of your excess material off first, just like this, with your scissors. That's just gonna help get rid of all that. Then you're gonna take your model off here, your bleaching tray off your model. Okay. And then we're gonna start to cut. So you can see, what you wanna make sure that you got enough suck down or vacuum when you uh, made your tray is that you can see that gingival margin all along the linguals, all along the buckles, which you can see. If it looks real faded and you can't make that distinction, that means something went wrong in the making of your models. Now, when you go to trim, your scissors are actually gonna face out um, your points here. So usually, you know, you would think of them kind of tilting in slightly. In this case, we're gonna face them out. So what you wanna do, you wanna come up. Now, in the video that we watched from Ultradent, they gave the option, they recommended scalloping along the teeth. We cut straight across about one to two millimeters above the gingival margin. This is personal preference, kind of like the blackout resin, which I do recommend. Some assistants do not. Um, it is a little bit more time consuming, but I think it is effective. So with this, the reason I choose this is because it's also effective of doing a straight cut versus a scallop. So again, Kind of wrap around here. You want to curve up, curve around. And then, now if you notice, on this side, we have three molars, this side we have two. So if you want to even that out, who wants to bleach their wisdom tooth? We're gonna cut that wisdom tooth off to make it even because they didn't have one on the other side. That is completely fine. Sometimes people even go to the first molar. The biggest thing is you wanna make sure there's no sharp edges, pointy edges or excess around. It just looks pretty even, that one to two millimeters around. And then you can try it back on your model if you want to. Or of course, if you're making your own, um, you can try them in your mouth. So you can kind of feel around with your tongue, your lips, and you can see if it's comfortable. So that fits right back on our model like this. As you can see, one to two millimeters above the gum line, linguals and buckles. And then for your gel, your whitening gel syringes, these are what we're gonna use, the opalescence. And you just put a little bit on the on the facial there where we put that blackout resin in each pouch, okay? Not to overfill, careful not to overfill because then it's, it will seep out. So, and then you're wasting your whitening gel. You only need a little bit for each tooth compartment. So that is how we make our trays and trim.